I'm Robert Spring. I teach clarinet at Arizona State University in Tempe, Arizona in the United States. How long have you been playing the clarinet for? I've been playing the clarinet since 1966. My, my dad played the clarinet and he was a, an amateur clarinet player but he always said to me, you're going to play the clarinet. And so he, uh, at one point I decided to play the clarinet and I went into band in 1966 in seventh grade and I've been playing ever since. How is it like to uh, be playing this clarinet since this time? Good. I mean, it's, it's, somebody said to me the other day, when are you going to retire? And I said, I've never done anything else. And I've always played and taught the clarinet. And to me, that's what my life is. It's, it's so much a vital part of what I do. What do you like the most about the clarinet? I like the flexibility. I like the sound. I mean, to me, when, you, when, when everything resonates, not just as a, a listener, but when everything resonates when in, inside you, and you can feel everything just produce the sound, I think there's, it's just one of the best feelings. What do you think you have achieved so far, and what would you like to do in the coming years? Well, I've been really lucky that I, I came into doing a lot of stuff before anybody else did it. So I, I started doing a lot of double-tonguing circular breathing before it was considered just a mainstay, and, I, and so I was on the, on the forefront of that, and I was really lucky because it has given me a lot of opportunities for performance and, and teaching. And the other thing is I, I have a lot of really successful students and I don't know how that worked, but I was just really lucky through the years to get some really good students and, and they're very successful. In fact, I mean, here at Clarinet Fest, there are 20 or so of my former students. This morning, this morning, one full recital was my students. I mean, that's, that's kind of freaky. Time is precious for everybody. What do you, what, what would you like to do in the coming years? With your clarinet? I think there's some more areas I need to explore. And one of them is improvisation. I, I can't think through my ears as well as I want to. I want to be able to think through my ears better. And so I, I want to work a lot on, on just thinking music as opposed to seeing music. And, and I want to get involved. So many of my students are involved in this whole digital revolution and how to do this and, and also make the clarinet work in computer music and everything else, I have no idea how to do that. I want to figure that out. Chosen to, you've chosen to play a, a Selmer clarinet. Can you tell us about this? Why, why I, did you choose? My, it, that really has impressed me is the consistency of what, what it sounds like from low to high. The workmanship, which is just unbelievably good, it's, it's, it's amazing. And the consistency between instruments. I know I was in Paris the other day and I played 14 B flat clarinets and they were virtually all the same. The consistency level is just, it, it, it knocked me out. I never, I never have experienced that before. Um, do you have a message or what would you say to, to kids who choose to play the, the clarinet? There's room in life for the arts. There always will be room in life for the arts. When we go back and study the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans, we don't study their politics, we don't study the stock market, we study the art that they have. And there's always room for the arts. And there's always, the clarinet's a beautiful instrument. It has a beautiful sound, it has flexibility. You can play jazz, you can play classical music, you can play klezmer music, you can, you can play wild electronic pieces. I think it's the most flexible instrument that we have, and I think it's the most beautiful instrument. And my advice would be practice. What part do you think clarinet plays in education, and what part do you think education plays in the life of someone and of people in general? Well, in, in the clarinet in, in, in education, in, in the United States, the school band movement is obviously very strong. And the fact that, that they need so many clarinets in, in, in that is really important. I, and then the, the role that it, it also plays, clarinet and music, I, I believe, gives you something more than, than, than the, the aesthetic feeling. It also, the, when you're in an ensemble, you belong to something, you belong to a group, you belong to making music, making something beautiful with a whole other group of people. I think it's a vital part, the arts are a vital part of education. What values music brought to you over the years? Well, I think one is, You can't be good at something unless you spend time on it. 
And, and, that, and that commitment is really important. And the commitment to, to spend time with it is really important. And, and then the, the feeling that you get when something goes really well, because you spent a lot of time with it, and you, you've something, the aesthetic feeling, the emotional feeling is something that you can't ever duplicate. I'm just honored to be part of the, the, the summer family. Uh, and yeah, and I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. That I, I'm just honored, honored to be part of that, and honored to be part of, of of this group that makes this magnificent instrument. And to me, it's just, it's I, I can't describe to you how important that is to my life, and how important it is to my students, and and for me to be able to present an instrument that I believe so strongly in.